hello students in our last video we have explained bernoulli hypothesis and in this video we are going to explain friedman savage hypothesis this hypothesis is an advancement over the bernoulli hypothesis bernoulli hypothesis points out that marginal utility of money always diminishes and therefore a rational consumer is not ready to accept a gambling with 50 50 odds besides he argued that a rational consumer is not ready to engage even a favorable odd because the marginal utility of money is decreasing drastically but in the real world people will enter into gambling or make bets even under very unfavorable condition but in the real world there are people who are engaging in gambling and accepting risk uh, it leads to certain questions that uh, whether these people are irrational or they are doing all these acts activities just for a pleasure or fun the economist watson has ruled out these two options according to watson a gambling is done normally with careful calculations now we are moving to the viewpoint of milton friedman and lj savage regarding the marginal utility of money and the behavior of the consumer milton friedman and lj savage introduced their approach in the article the utility analysis of choices involving risk which was published in the journal of political economy in 1948 according to them people behave in a complex and contradictory way that is on the one hand they may be engaged in gambling by engaging in gambling they are ready to accept risk on the other hand they may be buying insurance they are buying insurance to avoid risk that means there is a simultaneous activity of risk taking and risk avoiding it means that a consumer may be a risk taker or a risk lover or a same consumer it himself is a risk lover or risk averter the analysis developed by a daniel bernoulli failed to explain this complex situation and thus uh, milton friedman and lj savage deviated from the analysis developed by daniel bernoulli according to friedman and savage marginal utility of money may not decrease always or marginal utility of money is not decreasing at all levels of income they introduced a more realistic and convincing uh, method of measuring marginal utility of money according to the argument made by friedman and savage marginal utility of money diminishes at the initial level of income or marginal utility of money diminishes up to a certain level of money income and at the intermediate level of income the marginal utility of money is increasing and at very high levels of income again the marginal utility of money is decreasing it means that there are three stages uh, to the marginal utility of money which is based on the level of income of the consumer therefore when marginal utility of money is decreasing an individual is trying to avoid risk and when marginal utility of money is increasing he will be taking risk therefore same individual 
may be a risk laver in some situation and the same individual may be a risk averter in some other situation that depends upon the money income of the consumer we can explain the concept by using a diagram now initially we have x axis and y axis on x axis we are having money income of the consumer and on y axis we are having marginal utility of money initially we are going to have a diminishing marginal utility of money at a particular level of income that is corresponding to point r we are having income level i and marginal utility of money is ir and up to income level i1 marginal utility of money is decreasing and at income level i1 we will be having i1 r1 marginal utility of money that is at the initial stage of increase in income marginal utility of money is decreasing and when marginal utility of money is decreasing a consumer is not ready to take risk because his expected gain in utility will be less than that of expected loss in utility but if income increases again that is from i1 to i2 the marginal utility of money increases from i1 r1 to i2 r2 that is at the range of income from i1 to i2 marginal utility of money is increasing and at this stage since marginal utility of money is increasing people will have a tendency to take risk or indulge in gambling now suppose if income of the consumer is increasing again from i2 to i3 then marginal utility of money is i3 r3 and here in i2 i3 income range marginal utility of money decreases again thus according to friedman and savage when income increases from i2 i1 marginal utility is decreasing marginal utility of income is decreasing marginal utility of money is decreasing and therefore a consumer is not ready to engage in gambling because at this stage expected gain in utility will be less than that of expected loss in utility and when income increases again from i1 to i2 marginal utility of money is increasing and at this stage the expected gain in utility will be more than that of expected loss in utility and automatically people will be ready to engage in gambling and if income increases again from i2 to i3 that means Uh, they are entering into a higher income group automatically their marginal utility of money is decreasing again and they will behave as same as the behavior of the lower income group uh, in this context it is also to be remembered that the marginal utility of money is associated with some socio economic conditions such as low income group middle income group or higher income group these socio economic condition influences the nature of marginal utility of money in case of lower income group uh, marginal utility of money is decreasing and they are not ready to engage in gambling suppose if the if they entering into higher income oh, sorry middle income group they they are having Uh, higher marginal utility of money or marginal utility of money is increasing and they may be ready to engage in gambling and if income increases again and they will enter into higher income group and when a group of people an individual is entering into higher income group his marginal utility of money is decreasing the for same individual on the basis of the level of his income or on the basis of the changes in the level of income his behavior will be altered or modified that means an in a single individual or a same individual may not react in a uniform way thus in this analysis suppose an individual is uh, initially starting his earning 
he will be in lower income group and at this at that time he will be avoiding risk by taking insurance but when his income increases he is ready to engage in gambling therefore a same individual may be having insurance to avoid risk and he himself is entering into gambling to take risk that means there are dual behavior to a single individual this is the analysis introduced by milton friedman and l j savage and this is friedman savage hypothesis or fs hypothesis thank you